hii inaenda arawani Oh, Buddy, I hurry. Yeah. You can't. Yo, I shouldn't be I have
Tirate, general! Good afternoon, my brothers and sisters. Good afternoon. Um, we are here just to um, do the interment. And so there won't be a lot of time spent here because we have been given half an hour for this part of the exercise. And so I'm going to ask that we focus our minds on what we'll be doing. We're, we're going to ask that you, if you have your program, you will um, help us in singing. Um, I'm going to ask the persons for a small, for a small flow of the program to have the casket placed into the vault so that we can proceed and do what we have to do. So at this time I'm going to ask the men to have it put Stop. into the vault. Um, 
We will be singing from our program at this time when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more. The Lord shall sound and time shall and when all the Lord shall gather and the army of the song and the world is called up yonder and is there when the road is called up yonder when the road is called up yonder when the road Thank you for Selena. the many good times, the smiles, the laughter, the pleasantries. Hallelujah. We thank you that we were able to have been acquainted with her. Lord, now that you have taken care of we give you thanks for the great memories we have of her. Lord, this is the final resting place for her remains. We pray that this spot will be marked in God for the resurrection when you shall call her from the grave. In the meantime, Lord, there are many relatives and friends who are saddened by our passing. We pray for their comfort, their strength, and courage to endure this love. Strengthen her mom and her siblings. Hallelujah. Her uncles and aunts and grandparents and all those who are close to her. Lord, we commit this exercise into your hands that as we lay her remains to rest, Lord, her soul will be resting in your presence. Take full control, Lord, as we ask that the Holy Spirit direct and guide us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, um, if I may, you may listen as I read. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. 
and whosoever liveth and believes in me shall never die. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth. And though after my skin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh I shall see God, whom I shall see for myself, and mine eyes shall behold, and not another, though my reign be consumed within me. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. At the last trump, for the trumpet of God, trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible. And we shall be changed, for this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O oh, death, where is thy sting? Oh, this. Yes, and the strength of sin is the Lord. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory yes. through Lord Jesus Christ. Eh? Therefore, my brethren, beloved, be steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as you know, your labor is not in vain in the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. My brothers and sisters, it is a pleasure and honor to just share with you a few words that death has our number <laughs> and the death will call our number one day it is very important that while we live while we are yet alive that we make preparation for this inevitable transition we will not spend eternity in this state because we are mortal and uh, the Bible tells us that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. But, my brothers and sisters, what is um, very pleasing to know is that death does not seal our doom. It is sin that seals our doom. And if we turn from our sinfulness, death, and turn to the Lord, then our eternal destiny of peace and joy will be sealed by God Himself. Um, Kimon had confessed her sin and had confessed her relationship with Christ. She was not perfect, but she had made sure she acquainted herself with her Savior. It is the Lord who will judge and will determine um, the destiny of Simon. Because he is the one who saved and he loves us and he loved her with an everlasting love. And so he is the one who promised to prepare a place for Kimon and all of us so she's gone and her spirit is where is in the spirit world where we cannot see her but we who are here my brothers and sisters we are witnessing something that will be our reality we are standing over in our grave but i want us to understand that one day somebody a crowd may stand over our grave so let us make that decision to accept the Lord and to seal our destiny with him so that we can enter into a place of peace and happiness. 
brothers and sisters, today we mourn her death. But the Lord promised that he will comfort those that mourn. He will give them beautiful ashes. He will give them the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, the oil of joy for mourning. And while you mourn, do not mourn hopelessly, but mourn with the hope that there will be a resurrection where she too will come from the grave to be reunited with friends and loved ones and to be with the Lord. Brothers and sisters, I pray that the Lord will comfort you and that you will have the strength and the courage to endure this love because it is he who gives the strength and the grace. He is a present help in times like these. So trust in him and lean not to your own understanding and he will take care of you. Be not dismayed, but here be tied. God will take care of you. Stay strong, my brothers and sisters. Stay courageous and trust in the Lord. God bless you. At this time, my brothers and sisters, we have a lane of roses. It was done already. So that is passed. I'm going to ask that um, we finally um, slide the casket under. At this time, please. Thank you. 